We are the Falco family. Brian, Serena, Cameron, Kendall, and Savannah. We're a family of five driven by purpose and fueled by love. We decided to trade in the traditional school life for a life where every day is an adventure of faith and love. From a small photography business grew a love of memory keeping and filmmaking that turned into a full-blown dream of becoming a family of filmmakers exploring the truth about education. So we're learning to document our adventures in homeschool, business, and life and tell stories of how we live and what we learn. So I am getting ready to read. Um, I have been doing a ton of decluttering and of course hanging with the kids um and i need a break so i can unwind a bit so i think i'm going to get some tea and then i'm going to grab my books and get cozy probably in my bed first so that i can get started on my first little reading um time or reading sprint of the day i think i'm going to start with this one because it's a nice short read and it'll make me feel good about <laughs> starting way too late. Um, I pretty much only got through quite a bit of this one here, but I have all six of these left to try to get through and I am already on Thursday. So I really think that just picking this one up and getting through this in like a half an hour or 20 minutes or whatever um, will help me feel better about the fact that I'm all late and wrong. So we're going to read Dr. Wangari, Plants of Forest. Um, and then after that, I think I am going to maybe get in um, maybe an hour or so of listening to this one here while I get snack or prep dinner or something. I think that I'm going to be able to get through that one and that one, a good amount of this one. Then I'll just have to work on these tomorrow. So that's kind of the plan. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so first, first of all, the end papers are gorgeous. Second of all, I already have like a beautiful mother-daughter relationship, which is really, really nice. So this is what I'm having to deal with out here while I'm trying to read this one completely outside. So let's see how much I can get through while they play in the sprinklers and pick tomatoes. Kendall, what were you doing? Are there good ripe ones there? Yes! <laughs> oh, is that red? I thought no mas mean, meant no ma'am in Spanish. It, it means actually means no, no more. more. Giant red tomato. This giant, 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 giant <laughs> red tomato. Uh, when when do you think we should pick it? Um, like tomorrow. I think it should be fully brightly red, like the bottom tomorrow. Okay. Uh, look. Look one. Oh, Why? Yes, I do. Look at the inside. It has Ooh. shoots in it. Is it good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, are, you, are you taking all of his tomatoes, Savannah? You could have. What are you doing? What are This little one is completely wet and she's trying to come over and give me hugs. Now on day six of the, are we on day six? 
Yeah, and I actually should be finishing up all of my books right now, but I'm not. <laughs> but that's okay. I knew that this challenge was gonna look a lot different for me because homeschool, kids, life, but um, I wanted to make a good, solid effort. And I think considering all the things that I've had to do, um, I give my effort maybe like a six out of 10. <laughs> I've finished none of my books yet, but I have started and made my way through all of them except for one. What I need to decide right now is do I just put my all into the books that I'm currently reading and let this one completely go or do I go ahead and add this one to the mix? And I think that my decision is going to be go ahead and add this one to the mix. So I'm going to sit down on the sofa, the kids are playing FaceTime with their cousin and I am going to start the Phantom Toe Booth and I'm gonna get out all the things so that I can begin to annotate this book. Um, this is a reread for me so I know exactly what I'm looking for, um, what I wanna highlight in order to be able to share. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start this one now. I have this one on audio but I'm trying to figure out if I want to, if my goal is to annotate it very well, do I listen to it? I don't think so. I think I'm gonna have to make my way through this one without the audiobook. There was once a boy named Milo who didn't know what to do with himself, not just sometimes, but always. When he was in school, he longed to be out, and when he was out, he longed to be in. On the way, he thought about coming home, and coming home, he thought about going. Wherever he was, he wished he was somewhere else, and when he got there, he wondered why he'd even bothered. Nothing really interested him, least of all, the things that should have. Guess who's reading with me today? He's off of work, so I have a reading buddy. What you reading? I can't see it, it's too bright. Relational intelligence. Is it good? It is. I'm actually a little bit surprised. <laughs> he gives me the play-by-play, -play, which means that I can officially say that no, I read this book. Yes, I can. No, you can. <laughs> yes, I can officially say that I read this book as soon as he's done. So that's what he's reading. I'm back outside to try and read a little bit more of this one, The Enchanted Hour. This is the one that I said I was gonna read completely outside. Super hot out here actually, so I don't know how long I'm gonna last, but I will try to get in at least maybe 15, 20 minutes or so and see how far we can get. I am officially <laughs> extending my read for another week because I can and so I will. <laughs> And I knew that I wasn't going to work my way through seven of those books in seven whole days. But I definitely wanted to challenge myself to see how much I could get accomplished. I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. And remember that life is so very full of lessons and our goal is to live and to learn.